Hi, this is Dr. Epstein. I'm actually very excited to be making this video without a mask. I feel like uh, just about everyone's being uh, vaccinated now, so I'm able to talk without my mask on, which I haven't been able to do for the past year. Anyway, I'm with a young woman, uh, a black woman uh, of, who was born with a high hairline, and we had evaluated her videos and her situation, felt uh, by, by uh, email uh, video evaluation webcam that her scalp laxity was not very good. The plan was to do a balloon expander. However, uh, upon visiting me today, I realized that she's got uh, relatively or fairly good scalp laxity, more than sufficient for achieving her goal. So let's take a look at her. Um, you can see where her eyebrows are. And basically, she's got a quite high hairline and classic of many women from countries like Kenya, where her forehead curl, or the, the vertical forehead, along with the horizontal scalp, start, that junction starts quite low. And many times I try to get the hairline down to that junction, but in her case, that would be way too low. My goal is to get her hairline, which is right now here, to bring it down to around here, which is within around eight centimeters above the root of the nose, which is pr pretty much ideal. You can see as I'm evaluating her laxity, she does have fairly good laxity, so I'm for sure gonna be able to bring her hairline from here down to here, and my goal is to bring her down to here. So this will be done with, um, with, um, with, a, single, um, with a single surgery procedure, hairline lowering surgery. Um, and we can achieve a nice results. And then for any additional lowering she desires, we'll be able to do grafting, which she was going to need anyway if she was to have a balloon expander. And of course, with the balloon expander, uh, there's some thinning out of the scalp because the balloon, you know, over the span of six or eight weeks, it gradually expands, stretches out the scalp skin. You don't get more hair growth, so it's therefore it, it spreads out the existing hairs, so it makes it a bit thinner. Plus, with the balloon expander, one limitation is generally, generally the round, it's the hairline's brought down. Um, I, when I do a hairline lung surgery, I like to round out the hairline. With the balloon expander, we don't have that option. Basically, everything just comes down like this. Anyway, this is Dr. Epstein with a patient for balloon for a surgical hairline advancement or hairline lung surgery. Thank you.